Salut, c'est Géraldine, bienvenue sur Comme une Française TV, Sound French, even to the French. Reading articles in French and listening to French broadcasts are a great way to improve your French. And is there a better way to do this than checking out the French newspapers? That's why today I'm sharing a few of them with you. I will have to leave out many of them, especially weekly publications, but this is a list of major newspapers. You should be able to find something that fits your style and much more. Let's dive in. Le monde, le monde. It means literally the world, the world, and it's a French daily newspaper created in 1944. It's sometimes called le quotidien de référence, le quotidien de référence, the daily newspapers of record. It tries to be non-partisan. People from the left will say that it actually center-right, while people from the right will say it's left, it's a leftist newspaper. That's a hard word for me. Le monde diplomatique, le monde diplomatique, also called le diplo, is a monthly newspaper that's vaguely affiliated with le monde, historically at least, but it's now an independent publication. Le diplo is known for being overly leftist and against capitalism. Le Figaro is the oldest daily French newspaper. It was created in the early 19th century under King Charles X. Its name, Le Figaro, comes from the character in the play Le Mariage de Figaro, Le Mariage de Figaro, from which comes the newspaper motto that you can see here below. Sans la liberté de blâmer, il n'est point d'éloge flatteur. Sans la liberté de blâmer, il n'est point d'éloge flatteur. By Beaumarchais. Without the freedom to criticize, there's no flattering praise. The newspaper has become the most important mainstream right-leaning outlet in France. That's Le Figaro for you. Libération, often shortened to Libé, is a daily newspaper created in the 70s by French philosopher Jean-Paul Sartre. It's here. It's the most important mainstream left-leaning outlet in France, seen as the center-left or advocating social democracy. The word la libération, la libération, liberation, is feminine, while the newspaper's name is a masculine proper noun. However, we would very rarely say le libération, but instead simply libération. Il lit libération tous les jours, for example. Il lit libération tous les jours. He reads libération every day. And it's the same construction for any other newspaper without an article in its name. La Croix. The newspaper seller didn't have it this morning, so I'm sorry I don't have one. La Croix, or literally The Cross, is the only daily newspaper that's overtly religious. Sa ligne éditoriale, sa ligne éditoriale, its editorial slant, is Christian and Catholic, but also center-left politically. Which is surprising for some, since in France, Catholicism is often only heard through its most right-leaning members. It's a very interesting newspaper. L'humanité, or literally mankind, is often shortened to l'humain. I couldn't find one at my local newspaper this morning, so I'm sorry. It's a daily newspaper founded in 1904 by Jean Jaurès, Jean Jaurès, a main figure of French socialism. It's the newspaper of the French Communist Party. They're also well known by their music festival, La Fête de l'Humanité, or La Fête de l'Humain, which is held over a weekend in September every year. L'équipe, l'équipe is here, which means the team is one of the most successful French daily newspapers. It's the newspaper of record for all sporting events. It was founded in 1946 and the newspaper created the European Champions League, the most prestigious tournament in European football. While its direct predecessor was the, at the origin of the Tour de France, the famous bicycle race. Yes, le Tour de France. Télérama. Télérama is a weekly cultural newspaper. It was created in 1947 and provides its reader with a TV program for the week. 
just like many of his competitors, such as Tele Seju, for instance. But Telerama is much more than that. It caters mainly to highly educated Parisian people, stereotypically left-leaning teachers. The newspaper reviews art, music, movies and theatre plays and publishes many articles of cultural interest. But it has become famous for being highbrow and at least a little bit pedant. Pedant, pedantic. That's why for some, not being well reviewed by Telerama has become a positive marketing argument. I really like Telerama. Le canard enchaîné is here, it's huge. Or oh, literally the chain duck, like the one that the duck's here, grown on the cover. It's a weekly independent newspaper. Its name is often shortened to Le Canard. Le Canard, just the duck. Founded in 1915, it's the oldest publication of La Presse Satirique. La Presse Satirique, the press who used mocking satire to criticize the political stage. Their only income comes from their subscribers. They don't have ads and don't receive any subsidy. Historically, they have made major scoops since the 60s on media manipulation, financial and political scandals. Those that we often call les affaires in French, les affaires, scandals, such as l'affaire Fillon in 2017, for instance. Yes, that's them. Le Canard Enchaîné is also the only newspaper to publish a weekly list of les contrepétries, les contrepétries, delicious spoonerism. Charlie Hebdo, it's here, is another weekly satirical newspaper. They're well known for their drawings and caricatures and for being victims of the terrorist attack of January 2015. Their motto is Le Journal Bête et Méchant. Le Journal Bête et Méchant, the stupid and nasty newspaper. Charlie Hebdo's name actually comes from their irreverence. Its ancestor was named Arakiri. Ara Kiri, founded in 1960. In 1970, Charles de Gaulle, Charles de Gaulle, the Charles de Gaulle, died. He was a highly respected politician and the leader of the French resistance in World War II. But by the end of the 60s, he was also seen as the leading conservative figure fighting against the French youth at the time. Anyway, Ara Kiri made fun of him on its cover the day after he died and this led to the government to censure them and essentially ban the publication. But the writer team didn't give up and they founded Charlie Hebdo shortly after, which is still running today. Les gratuits are the free daily newspapers. The most well-known are 20 minutes, 20 minutes or 20 minutes, as that is the average time it takes to read it. Or direct matin, direct matin and metro. They don't do deep investigative articles. They have plenty of ads, but they give mainstream news to people during their commute on public transportation. La presse locale are the local newspapers. They're also called la presse régionale, la presse régionale, since they're limited to une région, une région, an area or an administrative delimitation. And they sell better than national newspapers. The most well-known daily local newspapers are West France, West France in the West, Sud-Ouest in the Southwest, Le Parisien in the Parisian area, La Voix du Nord, La Voix du Nord in the North, and Le Dauphiné Libéré around Grenoble, Le Dauphiné Libéré. They're worth just as much as the national press, as they publish national news as well, and even international articles too. You can read most newspapers on the internet now. Most of the examples I just gave you have a website where you will find the articles, videos and much more. It's a great way to practice your French. You will find links in the video descriptions on the blog. There's also a special paid web-based French newspaper called Mediapart. Mediapart. Their only income is through paid subscriptions and they're known for their independence and the thoroughness of le journalisme d'investigation. Le journalisme d'investigation, investigative journalism. This newspaper has a strong leftist slant, but their revelations have impacted governments from the right and from the left. They also publish long interviews and deep articles. Just a warning though, 
They also host blogs and most personal opinions on the Club Mediapart. Le Club Mediapart. That might not uphold the same standard of quality. Finally, you can follow French news on the web thanks to TV streaming who host written articles on the web as well. I would recommend the website of France Info, France Info, the public 24 hours news channel, or the public international channel France 24, for instance. France 24. It's available in several languages, but stick to the French version to practice. Reading and listening to French daily is the best way to improve your language skills. Et toi, did you know these newspapers already? Do you read news and articles online in French? Which of these newspapers are you going to check out first? Tell me in the comment section, I would love to hear from you. If you're on YouTube, you will find a link below this video to communefrances.com. On the site only, I read all the comments and answer all your questions as well. If you want more, subscribe now to my Everyday French Crash Course. It's a free 10-day mini course to sound French even to the French. It's super easy to join. Leave me your first name and email and you will receive lesson one immediately. It's free. Merci for watching Comme une Française TV, sound French, even to the French. Allez, salut